Welcome back everybody. Now in this module we will talk about the faces of hackers. So kind of like Errol's faces when he works when Absolutely. he goes to the office, right? Errol, I know you're an ethical hacker and we will talk probably lots of what you're doing every day like. I mean, we will talk about identify how hackers behave in real world. And I know there are some sort of officially like let's say faces of hackers, right? Tell us what happens when you wake up at 10 a.m. in the morning in Sydney. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to give a different example, if you don't mind. Sure. Can I get the camera to myself, please? <laughs> All right. Forget about hacking. Why? I mean, um, yeah, I know, I know. I'm going to explain you hacking here. By the way, thank you, Yuri, for mentioning Twitter. Uh, you know, thank, <laughs> thank, thank you. So, five, uh, okay, shortly back to the slides. Five phases of hacking, <laughs> reconning, scanning, Gaining access, maintaining access, clearing tracks. Back to me, please. All right. Forget about hacking. We have five phases, as you see. Mm -hmm. Now, you are a man, you are a man. Let's assume we are single. I, I mean, you are, I'm not. <laughs> uh, you know, as a man, you, of course, could be. Uh, I respect everybody, but I, I like girls more. And what I would do is usually say, hey, Milat, you know what? Uh, I don't have a girlfriend. I, I, I want a girlfriend. Yeah. Can you please... Which bar is good in Seattle? You come here more often where I can go meet uh, some people. Legitimate, you know. Yeah. Oh. So I get some information. That's what we call recon. Mm -hmm. Reconnance. It's the gaining information part. Okay. Okay? Then uh, he says go to the club which is at Microsoft Building uh, 37. You have a club in Microsoft? Nah, just wow. kidding. <laughs> All right. Now I'm in the club. <laughs> music is the... Can you make some music now, please? Uh, Okay, music is there, <laughs> dancing, looking for the girls. Mm, yeah, yeah. She looks at me. No, she didn't smile. Okay. You know, I, I found someone. Yeah, she's looking at me. Really? Uh, you? Yeah, let me go talk to her. Hi, hello, my name is, my name is Sergio. Uh, Sergio, uh, you know. <laughs> my name is Sergio. Oh, yeah, would you like to dance? So what I've done is I scanned the environment. I did try to find the right female which attracts me. Yeah. Okay? Now, the third part was gaining access, going and talking to the girl. Hi, now we dance. It's beautiful. Wait. Ah, you make the music. <laughs> beautiful, I talk to the girl, all good. What is the fourth part? Maintaining access. Yeah. Okay. Or buying drinks. Or Remember, my, my name is Sergio. <laughs> you buy drinks. Yeah. You had Some beautiful food. nights. So, can I get your phone number, please? You get the phone number. All good, you keep access. But what was the five pass? It's clearing tracks. Clearing tracks. Back to me, please. Remember, my name is Erdal, not Sergio. So, I'm married. I know my wife is still sleeping, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm married. Uh, so, I'm going to clear the tracks. Otherwise, she will kill me. Literally kill yeah. me. No, no, she will. She Definitely, will, I think yeah. so. So, <laughs> now, put this contact. Everybody has a hack hacker inside. So, let's put this back into IT terminology. So, if you think hacking comes out of the moon, by the way, it was a joke, there's not such a website. <laughs> uh, if you think, it's hackers use our own mindset. Mm -hmm. The only difference between them and us is, we are lazy. Yeah. We assume, we accept the risk. So, let's go back to the slide deck, and let's talk about reconnance. Reconnance refers to a pause where hackers, attack, the attacker, get as much information as possible. Correct. They get two way. They can do it actively mm -hmm. or passively. Active recon is uh, basically they go to the field. Uh, they try to do yeah. You know, they talk. It's like me going to the club yeah, or club me scenario. going online for dating website, which is passive recon. Okay. This can be done again in two different ways. What are the two different ways? Uh, active recon, for example, can be done as so shoulder surfing. Hmm, looking. Oh, so how you try to get my password? Exactly, how I was trying to get your password. <laughs> yeah. uh, or dumpster diving. Mm -hmm. If you think dumpster diving happened just in the movies, please go to Bing and search dumpster diving attack to Microsoft. Year 2000, a big database company was, I mean, two of those uh, spies were caught here at Redmond where they were doing, uh, they were looking at the recycle bins. Yeah. You know, now... Most of the 
uh, secure departments have a recycling box. They have someone which collects the recycle bin. They shred it, then they put it outside. Mm -hmm. So they can do it also from the internet. There are lots of tools, and at this stage, Milad is Let going. Let me show you one of them. Yeah. Let's see this beautiful demo slide, okay. gaining fast personal information. Okay. And how can we do it, Milat? Sure thing, I, I will show that happily. So this is uh, one of the tools available uh, you can download. It's called Maltigo. And basically what I can do here is I can find information across different uh, uh, databases, basically, around a particular email address, a particular person, phone number. So. Just with one small information, it will crawl the entire databases and find the matching information across them. So, just for the fun uh, to annoy Adel a little bit, let's move over a person here. And okay. Adel, I know I didn't ask you for that, but I will just search and try to find more information around you. So maybe I will realize that you're not a real MV MVP, you just tricked me with social engineering, there was never an award. So let's find out what's happening uh, around you. And by the way, if this comes out, uh, you will have to leave now. <laughs> All right. So now I have a person called Erdl here. Let me right click and run all transforms. So basically what happens here is if we find email addresses associated to try to find phone numbers. It will check Facebook for me. And let's just go over here and hit, hit yes. So what it does now, it scans different databases. And now Erdl. Yes. I will ask you some questions. Uh -oh. uh, is this your Facebook page, for example? No, here? that's my cousin. That's your cousin. Oh, okay. So you got uh, Azaloskaya.com, is that your, isn't that your blog? Uh, it's back live now. Uh, it's back you live? Please help me. Uh, have you recently posted anything about your upcoming jumpstart called Defense and Death on, win, uh, on Facebook? Oh my god. Guys, if you think we did put it there, no. It's free. Go download it yourself. Right. And how about, I don't know. I mean, you said you're MVP, loyal, and everything, but I see here a couple of Gmail accounts. Uh, yes. Eoskaya, Erdo, To be honest, they're not all mine. Mm, sure. Uh, some of them are mine. Some of them are yours? Yes. Okay. Hey, my job is doing class platform security. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I can find. Let's, uh, I got interested to your uh, website, right? So, uh, or, uh, dot com. So, let's... Check over there. What do we get here? Yeah, I accept uh, the accepted disclosures. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, actually, let me do it. Cancel, run. Mm. Let me resolve to IP address. Let's get the IP address. Oh, and there, although I'm, I'm sure you don't know the IP address, but let me tell you that I know the IP address now of your server. What else can I do? DNS from IP. Let's see. What are the DNS servers? Oh, you got a, okay. Oh, we are getting interested. Okay, so those are your DNS servers. Very interesting. Let's do, let's see what I find out from your Facebook profile. All transforms. All, yeah, yes. Let's see what I found over here. Out. Let's double click and let's see. The, let's see what I find here. Okay, so now I know where, where the image location is on Facebook, so I could even look, uh, go onto that page even without uh, having a Facebook account and download that picture. Interesting. What else? No way to stop hackers. Oh, yeah, that's a post from you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I accept, accept, accept. Remember. Uh, scroll different? down, scroll down. Ah, there was one more. Yeah. yeah. Happened always to me. <laughs> okay. Ah, so now I even know that uh, a particular person liked that uh, entry. Very interesting. Guys, this could be you. I seriously don't know at the moment, but I don't know if you notice. Maltigo at the moment is doing active intelligence research and exactly. it's real forensics work right it, it can be yeah can you be. can use more multigo for forensic work uh, basically yes i'll do some advanced forensic but yeah. basically yes i don't want to say no <laughs> okay and multigo i mean uh it's a tool available for community and commercial use right yes. so depending on what you want to do I mean, what I would recommend is if you just want to test it for yourself, right? I, I do not encourage you to use it in production, obviously. Just go on Bing, type in 
multi multi go. Please be careful. And careful. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Uh, in different search engines, I receive many similar results, which is uh, fake. Seriously. Yeah, Good exactly. Good to see it didn't happen in bank. Otherwise, I would tell. Don't worry. Correct. So I remember actually when I first started using it. I don't know how how long uh, it was like when you when you first showed it me that uh, where you're saying, hey, you really need to make sure that when you download it, that you download it from that particular website and from nobody else. And if you don't find it, hey, let me know, and I will send you the executable. Of course, I didn't believe him, right? I mean, he was like, oh, don't worry, I sent it over to you. Just install. Yeah, sure, at all, right? And probably you wrapped it with a virus and was just waiting till I log into my bank account and you transfer the, another $2 million to your account. $2 million? <laughs> Dubai. Okay. That's what we do in the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's about Maltigo. So this is the free version, right? That this is, is a free version, exactly. I just want to... Which is limited to use. Yes, it's I limited uh, for specific databases. I think it's around 12 databases you're crawling. And even with that, I mean, seriously, I mean, you saw how much information I got within... How long did it take the demo? Like three minutes, five minutes? And I can assure you... Yeah. I mean, uh, we Please. know the product. I can assure you you can find much more. Look, I had it once in my class. One student said, you can't find me online. Impossible. Oh, I yeah. said, look, make my job easy. Tell me if you liked anybody on Facebook. His profile was secure. Everything blocked. I said, yeah, you know, I can take hours, hours, but to just prove you that I can find you. He said, yeah, I liked Milad Aslanar publicly, and I commented to his uh, Facebook. By the way, it was Bon Jovi. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I launched a special Maltigo uh, transformer, which looked to Bon Jovi and his likes, and I found them. I found the URL, as Mila showed you. I copied paste to the, uh, my IE browser. I was in his page. I could add him as a friend. All what he said, thank you. Okay, uh, what do we got next, Milat? So I think what could be interesting is that once we do the recon, right, it's all about the scanning, right? So let's talk a little bit about scanning types. I mean, there are different uh, scan types available, like right? we can do port scanning, vulnerability scanning, as well as scanning the network. I, would, I think, Erdal, what is the difference between port versus vulnerability versus network scanning? And when, 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 should, when are hackers using what scenario? Okay, what is port scanning? Forget about hackers again. Think about thieves. When they want to steal your car, what they do is, first of all, they walk around the car, uh, they look if there is someone, then they will try to see if you open, like in the movies, they look on the keys. Or think about the house. They walk around the house, they will try to open the window, some, somewhere to go in. Don't forget, every computer has 65,000 ports. Mm -hmm. And as you know, these days, all Microsoft Windows operating systems come with very, they come basically cl closed down. So you have to go and open your own ports. Why? Because each port has a, might, ha might have a service running on it. Correct. Which is publishing yourself to the internet. Okay? So a port is basically the window for outside. Vulnerability, we talked about vulnerability. I'm scanning Milat. I'm looking for his weak point. Remember, Rocky Balboa against that uh, boxer. There you go. Uh, that tall <laughs> boxer. And uh, that boxer realized that Rocky Balboa had a rib issue and he started to attack from there. So that was a vulnerability scanning. So first of all, we're going to find our target. Mm -hmm. We're going to identify our target. Then we're going to scan their network. Uh, of course, we, our scope is too small today. But uh, if you really want to learn about network scanning, next week you can watch it in Channel 9 or TechEd. Yeah. Uh, someone called Milad Astaner and Erdo <laughs> is going to talk about bulletproofing your network security. Please watch it later. You can go it from our blogs or Facebook profiles. But let's do some demo now. Yeah, okay? Show us really how do they find us, Erdo. Okay, how, how do they find, find us? us? I mean, that's going to be a very interesting, right? Because uh, just uh, like your colleague, uh, your friend or Whoa, student was happened? saying that basically uh, they need to have, uh, they need to, they say that, hey, nobody can find any information on me, right? And you just prove that you could find them, right? So you had the capabilities and the tools required to identify who is this person, who does he like on Facebook, on social network websites. And this is really scary, I think, right? I don't know, what do you think yeah. about that in general while you're opening your demo? Okay, now we can switch to my computer. Uh, here we go, I logged in. That's it. Uh, no, not this one, not this one. So, 
I like your wallpaper, by the way. Can you yeah, protecting it? windows with <laughs> Kali these days. All right, now I'm gonna use Milad's most favorite tool. He didn't want me to use Firefox for this presentation. Yeah, I had you to are take. still doing it. Uh, I'm still <laughs> doing it, uh, but I have permission. Okay, yeah. look, honestly, my my uh, favorite browser is IE, believe it or not. Yes, I know. It, look, it's not about browsers, okay? Uh, just so quick one at all. Why I, what I like about Firefox, it has a couple of add-ons, which I want to show you. Yeah, Let's go to my blog. While you're opening so it. So I'm going to help you to block it. While you're opening it, Erdal, uh, the Maltigo website is also down now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> well done, guys. This is my blog. I don't know if you notice, straight away, uh, Maltigo was able to get the host ID, the IP address, it gets where it's been hosted, Sydney, Australia. I can just get some information straight from here without using any additional tools. You will see my, where my blog is hosted. So you, if you want to launch attack, you don't have to do many port scanning. You can just use one little add-on which connects straight and gives all the information. That's what we call banner grabbing or fingerprinting. So if you look back to our slide deck, uh, you will see uh, our personal blog is hosted here. Like when I was saying I was from the moon, you didn't believe me, right? You're going to see shortly my address is specified as in the moon. Uh, what else? You can come to this little tool here. We can do... What's double click the name on of it. the add-on? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay. If you go to add-ons... And I mean... I got Firebug. Mm -hmm. My favorite one is Hex Search, Netcraft, and Server Spy. All right. So now I think I should pop up. It didn't. Let me yeah. double click on it again. While you're doing that, I mean, the idea is that you have with the add-on the co convenience that it's all under one screen. I mean, you could theoretically do it with any browser, right? Because you have those different Definitely, websites. Yes. But it's not uh, like from user experience perspective or from hacker user experience perspective, it's way easier to use it with or a browser because you have this penetration testing. Don't forget. Seriously, I'm showing this tool just to show you how we can get information to protect your companies. I'm not showing it to hack me or Milad or that company. If you're going to do that, it's your own responsibility. Remember, the aim is to think like a hacker, to stop the hacker. All right, uh, I, let's do a very quick uh, search from here as well. I can get DNS details, DNS health information. I can get username password search. I can get general search based on entire domain. You know, you can just, I'm not going to spend too, too much time. I can send for threats, if you don't believe me. Let's, let's uh, have a look quickly here. Uh, we did talk about it. This is my DNS information. Now you know my IP address, my name server. Mm -hmm. Just scroll down. Now you know my SOA record, service of authority. You know, uh, my TTL. Again, I'm going to leave this for you to look. This is a spatial search which looks for username passwords only in my blog. Mm -hmm. So it is, you know, I just pressed one button. I didn't have to go to this uh, search engine yeah. to type all this line in. It is basically launching what we call Google hacking, an attack to get all the passwords in. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? Quickly here. I run another search about rdoscore.com, where it was mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, EC Council and other websites. Plus, based on uh, this website, it's safe as well. Just a quick one, Erdal. Can you show us a list of the add ons again? I mean, I see some students were asking for that. Okay. Again. My recommended one Hack Search. Please install it in your own risk. Yeah. In the testing environment, obviously. Server Spy, well, my one is an introduction. <laughs> uh, Firebug, but I only use it when I do security testing. So doing penetration. Penetration testing. Okay. Because I know installing installing um, installing um, add-ons from untrusted source can have security breaches. Exactly. So this is exactly look. 
Uh, I'm doing some stuff for purpose. Milad is the good boy. I'm the bad boy. <laughs> and I'm not here to, you know, show him bad or ma show myself good. It is basically a little, you know, to keep you awake as well. I know it's really hard to listen to two German-speaking guy. Well, uh, German, Turkish, German, uh, German and a little bit Arabic. -ish. Yeah, right? uh, a little bit <laughs> Arabic. So we're trying to keep you awake as well. I know the time zone all over the world is a bit different. And another very good tool, which I want to show. It's the netcraft. You can uh, go at IE as well, but it will show two, three different stuff, which I want to show you. First of all, it should, it, it's going to show my website statistics. As you can see, this work was seen first May 2009. My details, my IP address. Uh, you can see I was in Linux. I jumped to server. Windows Server, then I jump to Linux again. It's quite safe. And one more thing, you can get a full site report while well, just pressing on that Netcraft toolbar. Uh, that's sorry, we just done that. And you can get uh, my who is information. Yes, you can go sys internal tools, Mark Rosenovich tool, one of the best tools that I like. Who is? Type it in and get all this information. So now you know what web server I'm using. Next time when you're gonna launch attack, please uh, use this kind of information. And you know, that's it. That's basically how I use Firefox to find some information. But we talk about Metasploit. You saw me, how I use the console to hack Windows 7. It's time now to jump to uh, Facebook. No, not Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, uh, I think we, you can switch to my screen, don't worry. We're going to here, Metasploit. So I got Metasploit Pro, okay? I'm gonna log in, my username. And very bad practice, don't do what I do. <laughs> do not remember passwords in your screen, why? Maybe one day we will talk about it. It can be easily extracted from the registry if someone gains access. Let's sign in. So I'm gonna make a job easy. I already scanned my blog for you guys, okay? Uh, I mean, let me show you what you can do. Metasploit, which we used. You won't have access to this because this is the pro version, but professional penetration testers or hackers do use that. You can launch a quick pen test. What is it? As you can see, you can select the target. You can call the project, add you, uh, you can select Windows target, NIC service, web service, network devices. So it's not just about Microsoft. Please clear your, uh, clear your mind. Then you can configure your, your scan. Yes, it is using Nmap at the background and a tool which is called Next Pause, we can, which you can use the free one as, as well. You can run exploits. Uh, what else can you do with the tool? Phishing campaign, web app pen testing, vulnerability validation. And as soon as you go ahead and run it, because of the time restrictions, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna open the report. I'm not supposed to show it to you, but feel free to hack my blog, but please don't bring it down. You can see I got four web services, 44 web pages, and uh, you can see uh, some more information right here. We can brute force, exploit the website. Uh, we can get some other information as well, like scanning, web scanning, brute forcing, and it's quite easy. All what you have to do is press the button, and you can select services. You can go to advanced services or launch brute force. As soon as you do that, you know, with the free version, you have to type this in. You can just go uh, type the type this in and uh, use Metasploit to do that. Okay, so it should go and start scan. As you can see, around four percent has been done. I'm pretty sure Microsoft IT is gonna block my scan very so soon. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Microsoft IT is watching you since yesterday when you start downloading all those tools. And <laughs> yeah, yesterday I was trying to download some tools. I'm not going to say what I was able to do, uh, but they have really good forefront endpoint protection. I couldn't download anything. I had to go to the hotel and download it back from there. And here's a beautiful report. 
this is the IP vo version 4, Linux, 12 services this time. And I'm not going to show you these details. Please go ahead and find it yourself. If you want a website to hack, all right, I'm going to do a favor to you. Please, look, this is owned by EC Council. And usually when I teach hacking classes, look, go ahead and uh, feel free to scan this website. It's for you, free for you to scan if you can hack it. Beautiful, they got a backup. Here you go. Uh, usually for hacking uh, students, but they don't mind to get some bit more extra traffic. <laughs> Feel free to launch any kind of attack to this. Usually it's for AC Council students, but um, I think I can tell that as well. The, this month, end of this month, Charles Stewart University is running a free hacking class by university. If you are interested, please feel free to come to my blog and sign up to this class here. Are it's you not run delivering by that class? Sorry? Are you not delivering that class? I am delivering the class. <laughs> so it's if you finish this class, you will get a certificate of attendance. Uh, the name has been renamed, uh, but you can just join. All the details are here. So basically, I was trying to show you two little tools which is used by hackers. Two, back to our slides, where you're gonna remember what we were doing. Hold on, don't go back to my slides yet. Uh, remember, we had five phases. Here we go. Reconnons, Milad used some beautiful tools to get, I used some scanning access. You saw me this morning, how I gained access to Windows 7. How could maintain access? I could just plant a Trojan there. And as soon as I'm done, I could just clear the tracks, mm -hmm. move to my next target. So, this is the five buzzers that hackers use. And we want you to learn this. We want you to think like them. We want you to use the tools that they're using. But please, do not download any tool that you don't know. If you are not the master, you are owned by the master. What does this mean? If you download someone else's virus making tool, if you download someone else's hacking cracking tool, while you're thinking you're hacking someone else, you're actually helping maybe a cyber crime organization to hack the people that you hack. So it's a chain. Correct. My friend, dear Milad Astaner. All right, so we talked about gaining access, right? And I think you have one more demo, I think, on that, right? The thief Do version. Ah, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so I <laughs> totally forgot about it. <laughs> I mean, right, I, I thought me you were doing the recap, but I was like, okay, what uh, is the one more demo you want right. to show? <laughs> so now, no, sorry, I, I totally forgot. Oh, we still got time. Yes. Beautiful. No worries. You no saw worries. how hackers gain access. Now I'm gonna do it easy again. I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm gonna gonna put it in the internet. Just very basically, I'm going to log in to my Windows 8 PC here in my Hyper-V environment. Control delete. I put the password. Beautiful. That's my Windows 8. I lost my mouse. It's on the table. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to my tools. I did prepare all of this before. Anyway, I'm going to my hacking tools. I'm jumping to my Trojans and viruses. I go to my Trojan types. Remote access Trojans. Let's use Thief. Sorry, I'm not going to tell you where you can find this virus, but, uh, <laughs> you know, first we have to install the server. Let's make Windows 8 the server. Run. So, I did run the virus. Now, I'm going to move to different machine. So, if we can zoom out for a second, please. Uh, Milad, do you want to say something while I'm switching PCs? 
Sure. So basically, Ira, there were some questions in the chat around uh, certification. You mentioned it was ethical hacker certification, right? Yes. It's and uh, your blog post was erdaleskaya.org or was it .com? .com. Dot .com. And there you find the information, right, around all this, uh, around the course and how you can register for that, correct? Yes, yes. I'm okay. just waiting my, here we go. You can come back to me. To your desk. Uh, <laughs> I can get control delete. Okay. Look, I know I'm doing it other way around. I'm making the client server, mm -hmm. the server client. Uh, it's very basic. So just to show you how it works, okay? Windows 8, 2008, doesn't matter. Now I'm going to the same tools, to my beautiful drive. Of course, it's not gonna happen like that, okay? In real life, people are gonna plan, you know, they're gonna wrap it as I demonstrated before. Trojans, backdoors, Trojan types, same, same folder basically. Remote access Trojans, thief. Now, client, run. Don't forget, you are not, okay? You are usually, server has been installed in the victim. You are not gonna, you are not going to just double in you know, a virus, but it's gonna be wrapped. I'm reminding you again, again, and again. Back to my screen. Now I'm putting my victim's IP address. I believe it's 10.10.10.8. And now I'm the hacker. I wanna connect to that PC. It's trying to connect. Attention failed, beautiful. Live demo. Um, we probably, I'm just gonna quickly switch to my backup plan. I think backup. Microsoft IT is uh, not, let Happy. me go, backup plan. What I'm gonna do is backup videos. I'm not gonna try to fix it. Uh, All right, be not help me. All right, not help. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, yeah. I'm coming to my Windows 8, remember? You see, probably I, I told you. Uh, I'm going. At 4 a.m., remember when you were still doing demos? Go to sleep. So, what I'm doing is first, I'm wrapping the software here. I'm just jumping to where I was. Remember, first I click on the server, I run it, I infected that client. I'm really sorry, I have to show video. Even our crew here was not, is not a big fan, but I'm not going to try to fix it. Fan, okay. Not even me. Now I'm moving straight to my client again. I go to the same folder. As you can see, the time is 4.21 a.m. last night. <laughs> Do you see the time? Uh, yeah. So I did record it last time as backup. So things happen. Uh, that's the wrong folder. Wake up, Erdl. <laughs> so I go to Thief. Now I got the client, run. Exact same screen. That's my local environment, by the way. I'm just putting the IP address. 10, come on, Erdl. Erdl is sleeping. Probably. <laughs> so, ah, look, I did double check. Probably I typed the IP wrong. Uh, now I'm going to my 7008, just to get my IP address, just to show you how it works, okay? In reality, people not gonna deal with that. So I go to CMD. Milat, mm -hmm. how can I find IP address again? Uh, you just go to command prompt and type in ipconfig. Ipconfig, ah oh, yeah, I just forgot about it. Ipconfig, but it's really important to spell it right. Yeah. And That's usually what happens, by the way, right? Mm, with I your put presentations. IP address right, why it work? <laughs> Microsoft IT is doing a great job. Uh, seriously, it doesn't allow me to use the, uh, uh, okay, well done. Anyway, back to my, Server. Now, I know my client's IP address, right? As soon as they, uh, they're gonna leave a trace. So, I'm just gonna go 10, if I can type, 10 dot, oh, wake up, <laughs> 10 dot, 10 dot, 10 dot 8, connect. So, you select a port, can be any port number, uh, you can, I'm creating an FTP port because I want to upload some stuff. I want to download some stuff. I can go get some information about the PC, about the password, about the browsers. Let's go ahead and connect. I'm connecting. Now, 
it's connected and it's ready to transfer a port. So what can I do? I can just go and gain information such as you're going to see it shortly. I'm going so it's connected. Let's see if I'm really connected. I'm going to my favorite command, net state, mm -hmm. an, to see the process ID as well. And remember the port number, 6703. And the connection has been established. Our Mark Rasunovich has a beautiful tool, sysinternals, TCP, uh, TCP port. Uh, TCP port, I think. Yes. And NetView. NetView, yeah. Yeah, beautiful, which you can use. I can show you those one as well. This guy is just amazing. I mean, the, the, all the tools he's doing in the meantime while he's working in Azure. <laughs> all right, let's get some PC information. What is the PC name? Win, blah, 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 blah. Registered to Microsoft, owned as Microsoft. Available memory. Why it's important? If I'm going to launch an attack, if I know the memory, I can use their resources to attack. Remember? Exactly. Sending 500 kits and network information. Let's steal some passwords or let's get screen captures, even better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a live screen capture from that computer. All what you have to do is press save captures. Depends on your network speed. This can take some time. And look at this. This is my uh, Screen capture. This is a picture. If you don't believe me, look, I can't press and the, it appeared there. So I can't do anything. It's screen capture. Now I'm going back to my server to prove that it was a screen capture. This is not a screen capture anymore. And I can just click and start. I can open, let's say, CMD again, another one or probably not bad. Um, is anybody hacking me? It's important to spell it right. Hackers get angry otherwise. Let's make it big screen so you can read it. Our camera crew warned us, make 16 font. Here we go, happy crew. I listened <laughs> yesterday to your instructions. <laughs> All right, now let's take a screenshot of this. That's how I'm going to take over soon of my camera crew's PC. <laughs> Is that a threat or will you do that? <laughs> I will do that, probably. But I don't think the Microsoft IT is going to love it. So probably I'm not going to be able to go through. You seriously have a good policy here? Yeah, don't worry. I mean, uh, the tech ed session, we will find replacement speakers. <laughs> okay, I love you. <laughs> I love Microsoft. All right, this is the picture. Well, we again. do appreciate okay. making uh, let, me, let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me. Let me, let me. Get I'll a talk. new <laughs> screenshot. Now I'm back in the other PC. Click screen capture. And it's going to take some time. You can get even continuous screen capture. Remember? This is uh, my PC, and now I'm on Windows 8. I double click on the photo, oops. I can also get into the registry of that computer. I can go get some help about the virus, <laughs> funny. <laughs> I can go <laughs> to file manager and browse that computer. This is scary. Someone is using your computer as a remote storage. I mean, look, I'm in this business for years. I know exactly how it works. I know how to prevent it, but I still get worried. I don't want people to see uh, my Taekwondo pictures. You're doing Taekwondo? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, that explains my hand now better. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to move right now to my other PC. It's going to happen very shortly. And, you know, you can get information from me as well. Basically, that's, uh, I can get back to camera. <laughs> that's how I use an old virus. 
to get access with a Windows 8 to Windows Server 2008. Uh, I think it was 8.1, uh, not update 1. So uh, it has nothing to do with the operating system. So Microsoft or Google or Apple or Linux, seriously, it's not about the operating system. It's the end user going and double click into this file. So if it's a zero day, if it's a virus which is not known, how can you protect against it? I always tell this. Look, I got many friends working in many companies, lots of MVPs. Uh, I always get this question. So my computer is up to date. My antivirus is up to date. So why I still get viruses? I always say this. Thank you for asking the question, Mina. Um, uh, I, I'm just joking. I always say this. Guys, let's say I wrote a virus. I put in virus total. By the way, of course, someone is monitoring that website. Uh, it's clean virus. Then I put it in the internet. I publish it. I send it across. You. You, the one who didn't listen to me, that download that free game, Tetris. While you're playing the game, remember at the background I showed you how my net set connection started? While you're playing the game, I'm accessing to your computer. Or while you're downloading your stuff from that FTP server, torrent, what is the key point of torrents, Milat? You have to leave your computer open. While you download from someone else, someone else can download from you. What is the other rule? Uh, like the free file search, uh, file serving sites, mm -hmm. you keep and you download. If you are not in America, or if you're in Australia, our infrastructure is so good. A gig download can take an hour, depends on where you are, <laughs> okay? Um, while you do that, people are connecting to your computers. Okay, you are infected. Now, someone has to be suspicious of this file, okay? I think this is a virus. Someone has to upload it to the antivirus vendor. Someone in the antivirus vendor has to reverse engineer it. I got a beautiful example which I'm going to show you. A Turkish virus, which was uh, called by a company called Difoze, a forensic company. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friend um, Shukru done a really great job. I'm going to show you the screenshot. I, I, actually, I can do it right now. See how it works in real life. And they work with another antivirus company called Zemana. Uh, and they done a great job to find the decryption tool. I don't steal my email address. All right. You're going to show it on your machine, right? Ah, beautiful. Here, they look at me. All right. My machine. Don't switch now on, just in case. I have my nude pictures on. No, just joking. <laughs> just joking, just joking. It was just to get the laugh. I was going to show what? I forgot. Uh, From Turkish. Uh, yes, something. it's in the desktop. Just give me a few more seconds. My desktop is a bit messy. All right, now we can switch to my computer. That's a that's a fatura.exe, and what the virus does is basically, as soon as you get infected, you get a message like that. I'm going to show you a better image now. A no message like that. Users will understand it's in Turkish. Yeah, it's in Turkish. It says, <laughs> Mister, you're hacked. Now we have to. Oh, United Emirates. Mister, now That's if you want your data back, you have to send us an email. We did encrypt your password. Uh, we did encrypt your computer. And the virus, by the way, came via email. And it's, it looks like Turkcell is like uh, ITNT or. Vodafone or T-Mobile, it looks like a perfect, uh, perfect what? Invoice. Invoice, thank you. And it looks like this. And what he done is, he used a software called Forensic Explorer. He did went and he said it was really crypto domain dp.ua gate php. So they done, what, what the virus has done is, it did, Encrypt uh, all. Look at this. Shift really means encrypted with password. It did encrypt all the files. Now, if you want to decrypt, you have to you have to basically double click. Uh, sorry, Erdal. If you really want the virus, that's the virus here. Uh, all right, a friend of mine. 
Shukri, I should give him the credit seriously, uh, and because he done a great job. Uh, that's his, you know, that's the guy. So thank you very much for sharing this information. What happened is they get hacked because they clicked. They didn't follow the best practices. As, as a result, they had to pay lots of money to get decrypted or go to professionals to fix the issue. Milad, I know you have a story on screenshots. Uh, you don't have it anymore? Um, I sure I can tell that actually. I mean, basically, <laughs> what happened is uh, Adel, what you sh uh, showed uh, during your present uh, during your demo with the screenshots you, you made. I mean, that's what I did <laughs> to my brother actually. I think <laughs> back, brother. I don't know how many years ago he was playing. I, I still remember he was playing Need for Speed, and I hacked his machine, <laughs> and I was just uh, pressing the brake button all the time over RDP. So he was like. Why is my car so slow? Right? I was just annoying him. But, and then I took some screenshots, sent it over to him. And then it was a time where he <laughs> realized, oops, he was the guy who was uh, 13 years younger than me just hacked me. <laughs> okay, uh, I think it's a good story. Yeah. Um, How about you wrap it up? Minad? Sorry? How about you wrap it up? Okay, wrap it up with the virus and send it across? Uh, no, uh, wrapping up okay. the module. <laughs> uh, wrapping up the module. So, maintain access, clearing tracks. You saw how viruses are wrapped up. You saw, you didn't see it, but you guess how it's been shared. It's all about, there is you and yourself. Policies can be bypassed. I done, in a conference, like I wasn't at Austert. I couldn't attend this year because I'm next week at, Austert is Australian Computer Emergency Response Team. All right. I'm talking about computer emergency response team. Uh, I'm there delivering a session today, by the way, Advanced Windows Defense. And they had beautiful firewalls blocking us from going to different websites. I said, guys, uh, did you done penetration testing? Ah, come on. You know, you are not going to tell another penetration tester, oh, come on. It took me 30 seconds to go to the URL. Uh, do some other stuff and bypass the security. 30 seconds. So it's between, it all users will make mistake. By the way, also it is great. They, uh, they checked their IPS and they blocked it straight away, but I was in. Yeah. I scored the goal. Now it's the attempt to patch it. That's what I'm saying. Hackers are a step ahead. And it's our job to be aware. Uh, we showed you a couple of websites. We showed you a couple of tools and you saw how they gain access. You saw how Milad gained access about me. I mean, we didn't want to use anybody else, but if you are really, really keen, and if you live in the United States, please uh, hashtag yourself. We, can, we have one more demo after lunch. I can tell where you live. If the house is yours, how much your house is costing? How much money you're earning? Your estimated age. No, no, not Facebook. Your landline number. <laughs> Your landline number. You really want to learn it, then you have to go to one hour break. You have to eat something. <laughs> we have to eat something. And we will be back. Me, Erda Luskaya, a certified ethical hacker, a Microsoft Mosul professional, a Microsoft certified <laughs> trainer. And, and what else? <laughs> I got a few others, but I'm not going to tell. And who are you again? Uh, Milad Astana, Premier Field Engineer at Microsoft. Premier. Like Premier Field Engineer. <laughs> it was a pleasure for us to have the... It was a pleasure for us to have you in the first half here. Now we're going to have one hour break. And promise after one hour, we will talk. Let me tell you about what. What motorways hackers pass the hash. Crap the hash. And... We're going to talk about Windows security capabilities and tools. Promise, more fun demos are coming in. Don't worry if they fail. I'm not going to say, oh, sorry, I'm not going to spend time to fix it. I have a backup. <laughs> if necessary, we use the B plan. But we are here, so you learn. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please, let's meet in one hour again. And don't forget to hashtag as, use Twitter, use Facebook, use social media to make everybody aware. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you in one hour. 59 minutes.